every roofer's got a story on how they got into roofing, so I want to share a little bit about myself and how I got into roofing. Let's just start back from the beginning. Ever since I was a little kid growing up, I had some fun hobbies I wanted to do, and let me back up a little further. I'm one of nine kids. I've got eight siblings. My parents did an amazing job raising us, taking care of us, uh, providing food, shelter, and love, plenty of love. And I love you guys for that. Thank you. Mom, I miss you. really do. But uh, anyway, I want to be a pilot at a young age. One of my oldest brothers had a friend that was, and his papa had a beach craft bonanza. I'd go fly with him. So ever since like 12 years old, I wanted to fly. I wanted to fly so bad. I ended up getting my, well, teaching myself how to fly with Flight Simulator. This is back before internet and YouTube and shit. And uh, I just, since nine, I had a paper out, passed some papers, turned 16, got a job at uh, Kroger, left there after six months, work at a place called Graphics Lab Throttle Jockey. Did that for about two years. So any of you uh, motocross fans, you know what that is. Uh, we'd make the stickers for your dirt bikes. Great people there and uh, enjoyed it, but it wasn't enough money to get a pilot's license. So I ended up talking to a friend of the family that had a construction business and he needed some help on some roofing jobs every now and then. It paid great. He just couldn't keep me busy. He told me to call this company up here in town, the best guys in Kokomo. So I'd call them up. They'd say they weren't hiring. I called Terry, did that a few times. Terry's like, no, just tell him I sent you. So I call him back up, wait, 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 please, you know, this guy told me, Terry told me to uh, to tell you, give me a shot. So they're like, all right, can you be here Monday? Ever since then, I've had a job in roofing, working for them back in early 2000, learned how to roof there. It was great, moved on, worked at another place. Fast forward 17 years, here I am working for Grand Roofing now, three years, been doing it. And I enjoy it. I did, by the way, end up getting my pilot's license because the roofing money paid a lot more. That's why everybody's like, why'd you become a roofer? Well, I had a very expensive hobby. So I did obtain my pilot's license, pilot license certificate uh, at a pretty young age. It was fun, traveled, did a lot. I remember being uh, 17 years old, flying with some other pilots at the time up to uh, Chicago just to go get a Chicago dog. Probably one of the most expensive Chicago dogs ever, but we had to build flight time. So anyway, here we are 17 years later doing this in my way of trying to give back to the YouTube community because it's such a valuable platform for free to learn so much stuff. It's right there. Click away. So all you guys taking the time out of your busy days to watch, thank you. I really genuinely appreciate it. It makes me feel like I am giving value to somebody out there for taking the time out of their busy days to watch. If you have any idea or some content or something you want to see and be covered, let me know. Drop me a line below. I don't know unless you share it with me. I'm still trying my, my Jedi mind tricks, but <laughs> I'm not that good yet. I got some up and coming things I can't wait to get to. I announced about uh, Bean Counter Dave. He's in the office, behind the scenes, back inside. He's gonna do the how-to uh, business entity setups and the different things, bean counting, money related. Uh, I've got a one square board I'm building for the one square challenge. I know I told myself I would never do that, but I'm caving. I'm trying to reach out to that other viewers out there, that other group of viewers. But that's not the focus of the board. It is going to be that I have a section in a little more controlled environment to do how-to videos. How to ice and water, how to edge metal, how to build a rake and start your roof, uh, cap it, tear it off, whatever. Uh, by the way, a shout out to Reese Wholesale and ABC Supply for donating some of the materials for me to use in this. Because I don't have the income to just buy the shit to tear it off. So thank you guys out there. Uh, but you, the viewers, yes, thank you the most. If you could, if you watch this far in four minutes, if you could, give me a thumbs up. On any of the videos you watch, give me a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Unfortunately, there is just a mind-blowing, just unfathomable fathomable amount of video content uploaded every minute. And to be discovered, YouTube needs to see the engagement. So these, make it turn blue, comment below, share it with people if you like it. Let me know what you want to see. I'll do my best to comment back. It means a lot to us and to make me feel better about constantly putting the time and the effort into this for you guys. So it really does take a lot trying to make sure I have time to get the camera out, shoot it, it's all impromptu, edit it, upload it, get it to you guys. So please, we really appreciate it. We appreciate y'all watching. Also, I have an upcoming 2K sub giveaway. So stay tuned to that. When I hit 2000 subs, I wanna give away a $50 Amazon gift card. And on that, I need some ideas and some input on how to do this little competition, 
how to interact with you guys. Oh, a note on that. So I want it to be to the people that are subscribed. So if you're subscribed, thank you, but I have to be able to know you're subscribed. So some of your settings hide you and I don't know. So you need to have it visible as any contest on YouTube. So let me know if you want it to be some sort of scavenger hunt in the video. First one to answer a question right, if it should be on a live shot, uh, a random number generator, whatever. I announce I'm gonna give a $50 gift card giveaway at 2,000 subs, hopefully it's here soon. Help me out, share it with your friends. And if you don't wanna engage, whatever, or interact, that's fine too. I just wanna bring value to you guys, so I, I hope I'm doing my part. I'm home for lunch and get my little dog out, so I need to wrap it up here. Stick around for the upcoming playlist. I'll see you next time.